story of your first master. Aye. Seems to be the very story Valhalla has me reliving, in fact. Oberon fancied himself a romantic, you see. Always claimed that love was more important to him than anything. One time, he led his entire entourage on a journey to attend the wedding of some duke or other, near your old neck of the woods. The groom, this lordly prick, had conquered a warrior queen and was marrying her as part of terms for peace. And this somehow was so romantic to Oberon that he dragged us across the sea to pay respects. Never mind, he was quarrelling with his own queen the entire way! Well, I'll have more of that one, to be sure. As I was saying about my old master and his lofty so-called romantic ideals, we'd settled in a forest outside of Athens, a place well situated to observing the comings and goings of the Duke's other guests. There we observe the romantic complications of some local use, and Oberon gets it into his head to intervene, bids me fetch him a magical flower that can manipulate the affections of others. Supposedly, the idea was to nobly help true love prevail over the pressure of family arrangements. But what he really wanted was to use the flower to torment his own wife. I see why you left his service. Aye. Brother, while I'd love to say I left Oberon's service as a matter of principle, the truth is it was much more a question of pride. If he'd simply shown me more appreciation, who knows how long I might have tolerated his evils. I certainly tolerated plenty from my subsequent employers before I could take no more. If I'm being honest, I was only too happy to offer my complicity in Queen Titania's humiliation. What did you do? I caused her to fall in love with something preposterous. An actor. Your old master. He had you make his wife fall in love with another. Aye, temporarily, by use of this magic flower. Though now it's clear to me the flower's effect isn't love, exactly, but a kind of obsessive devotion that is too often mistaken for love. So, of course, the Queen made a fool of herself, as did all those under the flower's spell that night. Don't know how I ever got embroiled in such a farce. You are wiser now. I think so. Though that only makes up for so much past stupidity. I wanted to tell you, Valhalla keeps sweeping me away to my own adventure in memory. I wondered if it would. That's wonderful. What is it showing you? Some particular events of my wayward youth. But they're in a loop of sorts. Not sure I've quite gleaned what it all amounts to. Then you must do what you do in Valhalla. Keep going. <laughs>